Hey y'all, good morning. Holly and David here from Glory Hills Homestead. Thanks for hanging out with us today. We are doing something very exciting. Um, so the last like 48 hours has been filled with lots of pig drama on the farm. We'll put up a video. I don't know if, when it's going up, but you'll see it. Um, and so kind of unrelated to that, it just so happens to be like all in the same little time frame. But now we're going to pick up another pig um, and he's eventually going to be like the sire too. Is that what it's called in pigs, the sire? Uh, he's the boar. He's gonna be the boar that fathers next year's meat for us. Yeah. And so he's six weeks right now, but he's super cute. He's what like- a land, what's it called? Uh, a landris. Landris. And so he's one of like the stereotypical, when you think of like a cute little pink pig, like this is it, so. But he's going to be a really good meat breed, and so he will be breeding one of our Hampshire uh, manga crosses, and so that should have really good genetics with the meat that comes out from that. So I'm hoping that I don't think it's so, so cute and fall in love with it, because it'll eventually go in the freezer, so I'm going to have to be careful. We, we're naming it Ham, just to be remindful of <laughs> its purpose. Yeah. Um, but it is really cute, so I'm excited to show you guys. And we're pulling up to the farm now, so we'll film what we can and then we'll show more when we get home. So we got the, uh, the land race. Yeah, I thought it was land race, but I guess it's land race. All one word. Well. I think it's tomato tomato when it yeah. comes to that, but we'll call it a land race. It is crazy. So this pig is, I think they said six weeks old, and it's a honker, and it's already pretty big. So, it's almost the size of our Julianas, which is fine with us. Yeah, you know, we uh, we're okay with the bigger pig. Apparently, this pig, what's so unique about it, is it is actually born with an extra rib. So um, the ribs are supposed to be really good on this pig, but. And they did, the people we got them from, they do have like registered pigs, but we just bought one that was full blood, but not registered. Cause there's no point right now. We're just going to be breeding it to one that's not registered. So it doesn't matter to have it registered right now. No point, but. So. It's cool to know that they, they have the capability, but it is cool. Cause so he got up there and he steps out and he has his badge on. And he looks like he's a uh, law enforcement too. So he works for the county that we bought the pig in. <laughs> Yeah, it's a small world. He's a big boy. There were two little boys in there that we got to pick from. I initially wanted the cute small one, but I kept my mouth quiet because I knew the bigger one is going to make bigger babies and the whole purpose is for me. So I was Not like, just that, but Holly has a very big tendency to pick the freaking animal that has to require the most attention out of all the animals. So. Like it's, goats. It's, yeah. Goats require a whole bunch of attention. Not only that, it like doesn't matter not. what kind of animal it is. Yeah. I'm always drawn to the animals that always end up needing extra help medically in some kind of way. And so I just kept my mouth shut and I'm like, I know David wants that big one, so we'll do that big one. Hey, that was like bacon though. Bacon was the biggest one. Yeah. And he ended up being a very good meat pig. And I wanted sister because she was like really tiny. But she ended up being good too. She was good too. She was good too. We ended up butchering her a little bit later. Yeah. Anyway. Um, yeah, so when I know it's strictly meat purposes, I just kept my mouth quiet and I'm like, I'm not going to say which one's cuter and David can just pick because I don't want to form an attachment. So this would have been my last choice, but that's a good thing because it'll all go in the freezer in the end. So it'll be my first choice once it's picking breakfast from the freezer. Yeah. <laughs> Dinner, lunch, and breakfast. Yep. Yeah, you can get some some pork out for every meal, huh? Yeah. Are you thinking we're gonna put them with the Julianas? Yes, we'll probably gonna stick them with the Juliana pigs. Well, Baba. Well, you need to wait. You didn't tell me earlier. Shocker. Yeah, our kid has to use the bathroom. Wow. He's Shocker. got a little mouse bladder every time we're in the car. Ten minutes in. Always, never fills. Um, hold on, bud. Wait so one second, okay? It's so loud in here. So we're gonna put 
put that, put that little boy with the Julianas. He's way too young to breed anything. And I'm gonna try to rehome the Julianas that we have left. Um, you'll kind of see why in the other video with what happened two days ago. Um, but it's just not wise for us to keep little breeds while we also have big breeds. So we're just going to rehome them and uh, probably just stick with big breeds for the foreseeable future. So yeah, we'll show y'all putting that little ham up with the other piggies when we get home. You like having your back turned to the side of that? Hey buddy, it's okay. It's okay, little one. It's okay, bud. Poor little guy wore himself out. He's still a baby, bless his heart. He's a strong thing though, goodness. He's really He's really strong, huh? Can you believe he's a baby and he's that big? Okay, so David thought it'd be a great idea to use my pie pan to get him some water. Just got him back home. Hey, little buddy. Did you need to sit in some water? Bless it. You worked up a big old fit in the car, didn't you? He's really cute. Yeah. God, he's muscular. You got some big hams on you already, boy. Isn't he cute? Yeah. We named him Ham, Isaac. What? His name's Ham. Uh, Mommy, yeah, all one named Ham. The other one was Bacon. Okay. This one is Ham. Bacon, ham. Don't break my pie dish. Oh. I'll put you in the freezer. Stop it. So, we're getting ready to go put this pig with our Juliana pigs and introduce them. Um, and hopefully they get along well. We're going to keep him in the cage for just a little bit. Again, kind of introduce them so that they can kind of get acclimated to each other, and we'll go from there. He's liking that water. Yeah, he is. Let's get back. give them some of this older milk. And that will just be good for them and help him to feel a little bit more replenished after a stressful car ride. Good news is these three are getting along well, so that was most important.
it's evening here on the homestead as you can see we got a pretty sunset a um, little breeze coming in from the south which makes it nice um, but today we got the pig and it's in the shelter with the other pigs and so it's it's happy at the moment we're gonna end up giving away the both the juliana pigs um, just because we don't want the the pig we just bought um, to get hurt so we've seen that the juliana has been jumping on his back um, again we don't want that pig to get hurt it's, it's apparently a really good breed of pig um, so we did that we did our firewood um, getting it stocked up I still got to get some more firewood I had a little complications with the chainsaw but thankfully I got the uh, extended warranty at Tractor Supply with that chainsaw so it should be all covered I'll have it all back up and running here shortly but don't forget guys to like and subscribe comment below if you guys have any suggestions on any videos that you guys want to see in the future um, don't forget that you guys are loved God loves you have a great night guys see you guys on the next one